few years ago, I bought the G0761 milling machine from Grizzly. When I got it, it came with a big crank for the Z-axis that you had to do by hand. That used to go right there. There's a bit of a Lovejoy coupler, probably about an inch and a half in diameter. And boy, I got tired of that really fast. I thought I could take it, but I just couldn't. So I whipped up this little guy. What we have here is a 3 16 inch thick plate of aluminum with a circle cut out of the center. You can still see the scribe marks here. There are three screws, some kind of metric pitch, I don't remember because it was two years ago. There, there, and there. This is just half inch aluminum round. There are four of these on the four corners of this connection. They attach to this L-shaped bracket, which came with this worm. The worm came off of an industrial door and had an AC induction motor on it. That's what I tried first, was the motor that came with this thing. It didn't work very well. The previous motor didn't have the horsepower. Here's a view of the whole assembly. This motor is a one and a half horsepower continuous rated DC motor. Runs on about 90 volts. Very easy to drive. You can drive it straight off a rectifier, which is basically what this control box does. These are ubiquitous. You can find treadmills, uh, treadmill controllers, and treadmill motors on eBay for cheap, Craigslist for cheap. They're very easy to wire. This is just a 10k ohm potentiometer being used as a voltage reference. Plugs right into the treadmill motor controller. This is the direction switch. Since this is a DC motor, all we have to do to reverse the direction is run the polarity reversed. So that's what this switch does. It has three positions and it switches two internal switches at the same time. In the neutral position, the motor is unconnected. When we flip that switch up, it goes up. When we flip it down, you guessed it, it goes down. This foil is to protect the motor from steel chips. Because this is a DC permanent magnet motor, it was attracting steel chips into the top of the motor. There's a vent here. There's normally a fan on one side that ventilates things through. And I couldn't have that. So this is thick foil and it works really well. These are one inch aluminum round, just like this. Tapped on both sides and put in. It's easy to work with. If I had the materials, I might have tried steel tubing. Maybe some ooh, four inch steel tube, something like that. But I didn't, so aluminum it was. This motor is a DC permanent magnet motor, so it has very large magnets around the periphery. I used some aluminum shims and chucked the entire armature into the lathe, turned down the motor shaft to 3 eighths of an inch. It was beautiful free machining steel, so it turned really, really easily. And in the end, it was fairly concentric. The original motor mount was attached to a piece of wood. The treadmill driver is attached to the back of that piece of wood. There's a knob for the speed control going directly into the treadmill motor, and there's a knob for direction. The direction switch is a three position switch with a fairly high current rating. Although it's worth noting that the switch is not to be switched when the motor is under power. That puts too much load on the switch contacts and eventually the switch would stop working. Here you can see the crazy rat's nest wiring back there, going from the treadmill driver output through the switch and off to the treadmill. And here's what it looks like in action. Power switch back here. Neutral position. We're going up. Here we go. Much, much easier than cranking by hand. No, I'm not going to crash the tool into my table. There is a spot up here on this machine for a motor to be mounted. Don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a plate at the top. I thought about attaching this motor up there, but I wanted the torque advantage of the gear left from this crank. Grizzly makes another model of this machine, the G0755, that has the Z-Column motor built in. But the price difference is about $500. My Z-Axis motor was free. That's the crank. It mostly lives in a drawer these days. Good riddance.